Mary Therese Slaven and I've been a Sister of Mercy for over 50 years. Well, my, I'm, I'm a Sister Gabriella Gress. I live in Bathurst. I'm a Sister of Mercy. And today has been a special day despite the weather in that we, get, we have had, well, we're still getting the solar panels put on the roof here, for which we've been waiting for, for some time. This is the end of a long process of putting solar panels in as many of the, the institute houses as is possible. And when I reflected on that, I thought that it's very timely given that it's come after the elections and people who are working for climate change are very, very discouraged and sad and full of grief about lost opportunities. And I had this image of all these little solar panels on the houses of all the Sisters of Mercy right across Australia, twinkling like jewels, saying, there is hope, and the hope is in little steps, one step at a time, people uniting together, people living in hope, people not giving in to a virus which is called discouragement. It's like any virus, it saps your energy, it saps your creativity, it saps your hope. And every little sign of change, every little sign of acceptance, every little sign of a solar panel or a flower or a garden that welcomes life or a home that welcomes lovingly anyone who comes to the door is a sign that we won't be overcome by the doubters, the discouragers and those who are really on a journey of self, selfishness and narcissism and denial. This is a building that's only, the only power in it is electricity. So there's been a consciousness about the, the um, effects of electricity on the environment and so forth. So having the solar panels will be really much appreciated.